James Morris and his wife Bridget have confirmed their exit from Gateway Church founded by their father, Pastor Robert Morris. This comes a month after Pastor Robert resigned after he was exposed to molesting a 12-year-old girl in the 80s. During their farewell speech at Gateway's church, Southlake, James, and Bridget said they will pastor in another church in the near future, but Gateway will remain family and home for them. Listen to what they had to say. Earlier this week, the elders met with Pastor James and Bridget, and we jointly made the decision that they would both step down from their current position at Gateway and from leading Gateway in the future. This was a decision that we came to together. As you can imagine, the last several weeks have been extremely weighty for them and their family as they have navigated an unthinkable situation. James and Bridget, you are loved by this house. I had more to say. To, uh, so, uh, that's, that's good about them. So, um, You're amazing servants, and what you've chosen to do by stepping back and allowing Gateway to have a fresh start is a great demonstration of your commitment to Gateway Church and your willingness to follow God's will. We as elders absolutely affirm the call on them to serve as senior pastors at a church, and we prayerfully believe that this will happen down the road as the Lord leads them. But first, they did need a time to heal and process all that has transpired. And we fully support their desire to plant a church in the future. We love them and we believe in them. And I want to thank them for pouring out to you, to our staff, in the time that they've served here at Gateway. Our hearts are with you, and we pray that you will be able to take the time to rest, process, pray, and uncover what God has for you next. I'm gonna turn it over to them for a minute because they would like to share with you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Thank you. We love you guys. And when the elders first shared with us, the, the part that made it hard is simply that we love you all so much. We love you at every campus. We love, I've had the privilege of responding to so many emails and everything, and we just love you. We love Gateway Church so much. We've loved serving you. We've loved serving alongside you. Seeing what the Lord is doing in your life has been the best part of this whole time we've been here. We love seeing God working in your lives, in the working in the lives of your kids and your grandkids. You know, I've been in worship, kids ministry. I've been around this building so many times in so many different rooms and at the different campuses. And it has just been the joy, just an absolute joy to partner with you and to serve you. So thank you so much for letting us do that. Yep. It truly has been an honor and a privilege to have this opportunity to share with you, to pray with you, to pray for you, to baptize people. And so it's just been such an honor to have this time to lead in this season. And thank you. Thank you for letting us do that. That's right. <laughs> I'll say. Sorry, I get, I get choked up, y'all. We really do love you. <sighs> and you know, I feel like we're a few days ahead of y'all in our grieving process, but the Lord is starting to give us vision, and so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't go past me that this is a baptism weekend. I feel like it's the ending of one season for us and the beginning of a new one. So the Lord is giving us vision for the future. But we do grieve, grieve not being here with you. In we are very excited about the future, the future of Gateway, the future of what God has for all of us, and even 
for us as we now go and we pray and we seek God to plant a church. Now, with that, I will say, even though we're pastoring a different church, we are all the body of Christ. Right. And we are called to walk in unity. We're called to work with each other. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. And so... We're still it, family. Yeah. If you see us if out and about, you best come give me a hug. Otherwise, I'll make it awkward and I'm gonna come hug you, all right? Yeah, absolutely. We will <laughs> hug you if we see you out and about. And so try to beat us to it. <laughs> oh, well, we love you guys. Absolutely. And I just want to encourage you all that God is so, so good. God is so right. faithful. And God has plans for each and every one of you. God has plans for us. God has plans for Gateway. And we are excited about that. Yes. And just keep doing the work of the Lord. Yeah. Love God. Love people the best you possibly can. And we love you, and we love God, and we love God's house, and we are excited about what God will do. That's right. All right, guys. We love you. Thank you. I believe this was the best decision that Gateway Church could make in the prevailing season. James and Bridget need some time out to heal and process what is happening in their family. I am praying that God will walk with them and help them to come out stronger in Jesus' name. James was expected to succeed his father, Pastor Robert Morris, who was scheduled to retire in 2025. He had already started preparing to take over after Robert resigned and his bio on the Gateway website had been updated, indicating he was ready to take Gateway to the next season. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and let's engage at the comment section.